Jim, how are you reading the formation? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check, it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. There's the whistle, and here we go. Ball is over the line. Aimed in towards the centre. Tries one! An early chance there, first of the game. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. That's a decent ball. He's got it, and he's got time. It's anyone's ball. Hits one! That's a half-decent try. for a goal kick. Tries to get it forward quickly. Under. Under drives it forward. Under really just wasn't quick enough then. Well, his thinking certainly wasn't. Didn't make use of what I felt were some very good options. Oh, good interception. Played out to the right. Good ball. Una! Great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Tananolu with the short one. lacks a decent finish. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Hoists it forward. Runal. goes tries to stroke it through and that'll go straight through to the keeper yeah he was under pressure to get that exactly right and he couldn't even think of the consequences it was instinctive and rock solid it's all now Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage.
Shooting chance! Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Hit into the middle. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Played it again. And it's hoisted clear. Sanchu, Shalhanolu, Sanchu, Sanchu. Nice ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Being played forward. Tries a shot! <laughs> Defence has got rid of that. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Lobs it in gently. It's got through to him, just the goalkeeper, big chance! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Turk really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Turns and goes back, has a pop! <laughs> Unal! Unal! Goal! Turkey! There is the breakthrough! No space, no problem, you just cannot stop him. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. That's the whistle for half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but not that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. That's the start of the second half. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. And it's played forward. Gets it upfield. Chalanolu goes looking. Striding forward, facing goal. Oh, that's a fine challenge. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Tries to dink it in. 
Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. Forward it goes. Looks to clip it forward. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Turkey on the head here by what is still the only goal. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. It's Uno! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Defending was a oh, terrible pass. Hoists it forward. Chalanolu. Dashing forward at pace. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. And here's the chance to count. Oh, no! In it goes! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Well, that defence just wasn't expecting their midfield to mess up then, so when they did, they were caught completely cold by such a swift breakaway and such a well-worked finish too. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Turkey take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Looks to thread it through. We can get that clear. Unal is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Well, that's where he wants it. A really good feat from him. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. It's come loose. Up towards the flank. Oh, they needed a better pass there. Could be thinking about a shot here. Defenders on the back foot. He's through. Surely. Great challenge. Time to perfection. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. Going through. Is there any support? He might not need it. Has a goal! Oh, 
offside that time. Keeper's got good distance on that. It'll be a throw in. Two minutes to be added on. Could have here their final chance. And it's been taken short. Chance! That's gone a long way up and away. And the referee brings it to a close. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Turkey simply made...